Hi friends, we're back cooking with the queen. That'd be me. So today it is hot. It's muggy outside. You can see I have the whole sweaty thing going on. And I was thinking about about those blueberries the other day. So I cooked those blueberries down because when I made the pops last week, I really loved the blueberry base part of it before I mixed it with the Cool Whip and everything. So I just cooked some more blueberries down, almost just till the blueberries popped. And I'm gonna put that, I put one teaspoonful to a big container of blueberries of Splenda. I have my, my big bag of Splenda here. So I put a teaspoon of the Splenda in with my blueberries and just cooked it down. Almost made like a blueberry syrupy type. This would be awesome on cloud bread or just to eat in a bowl, like blueberry soup, yum. But anyway, my thought behind this was, I'm gonna make cheesecake. So, I took a couple of my low fat graham crackers, because I do like to, occasionally at night, I eat low fat graham crackers. So I took like a half a pack of the graham crackers, I put it through my bullet with a tablespoon of butter, just to make like a little base, a little base for my cream cheese, my for my cheesecake. Then I took one stick of cream cheese, eight ounces. I put that into my bowl. I beat it up with the beaters, just plain cream cheese, beat, beat, beat. Then I took eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. Eight ounces of heavy whipping cream, whipped that to the consistency of peaks, so it's hard. Then in with my stick of cream cheese, I put, I was looking at recipes on Pinterest and some of them called for like a half a cup of erythrorol, I can't even pronounce it, sweetener. I put two tablespoons of Splenda in. I, I don't need a half a cup. It, the two tablespoons makes it fine enough. So I put two tablespoons of Splenda and I beat the cream cheese some more. Then I beat in a third of the, the mixture of the beaten whipping cream. Now the rest of it, the other two thirds of it, I'm just gonna fold this in. I'm gonna fold it in and that's gonna kinda make like a cream cheese filling to put on top of my low fat graham crackers. And then I'm gonna put that in the fridge, I'm gonna let that cool, and then later, I'm gonna have a scoop of that with some of this awesome blueberries on top and it is gonna be to die for. Now at this point when I'm folding in this whipped cream into the cream cheese, if you didn't want to go the blueberry route, like I'm going, you could take two tablespoons of peanut butter and fold in the peanut butter along with the whipping cream and you'd end up with like a peanut butter pie. That's just to die for. And no sugar. So this is where I'm going with that. I folded in the whipped cream. So now we kind of have a cheesecake consistency. Now I'm just going to put that right on top of my, I'm going to put that right on top of there, on top of my graham crackers. And then I'm going to put that in the refrigerator and I'm going to let that set. And we are going to have some cheesecake with blueberry topping later, which Maybe I'll come on live for a little bit. Maybe I'll come on live and the first person that comes on live, I'll give a $5 lottery ticket to. And we could enjoy my blueberry cheesecake together. See you guys later.